Mexico. Nowadays, you know, if someone had superpowers, they just make YouTube videos about it and try to get a lot of hits. And kind <laughs> How of. How lame. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, I'm Natalie Kim. This is It's a Draw, and I am with Riley Brown. Woohoo! Hey. Riley, thanks for joining us. Yeah, no problem. My pleasure. As a guest, Riley, you get to choose the topic that we draw. Yeah, I think I can handle that. I don't know. Can you <laughs> talk so and just, draw? Yeah, I can, I can do that. <laughs> anyway, so just yeah. any one of these. Yeah. Spicy the spicy meatballs, meatballs by Doug Lloyd. Three, two, one, draw! So, Riley, you have a lot on your plate. What can you tell us about Deadpool and uh, St. George the Dragon Slayer? So right now I'm working on a Deadpool series for Marvel and a St. George for Dark Horse. It's written by Fred Van Lente, who I worked with on Spider-Man and Hercules uh, over at Marvel. And, you know, it's about the legendary uh, hero, St. George, who slayed dragons. Well, Deadpool was my first big Marvel project when I first started working for them in 2006. I'm actually back on the book working with uh, Brian Posehn and Jerry Dugan, who are the uh, writers of the regular Deadpool series, which is done in the same style as Powerplay. Uh, pa Powerplay is a creator on series, another series I've been working on uh, that is, I'm working closely with Comixology. And it's written by my buddy Kirk Christensen, and it's about a bunch of characters who get superpowers. And rather than trying to take over the world or try to fight crime or anything crazy like that, they start an extreme sports league. Why did you do that? You, is it just you're tired of everyone, the, the stakes being so high? I wanted to, you know, I like a lot of the superhero tropes I just think are ridiculous and don't make any sense. <laughs> and like, you know, like, because if I got superpowers, I would not say, hey, I'm gonna go punch out a mugger. It's like, no, hell no. <laughs> <laughs> Portrait of me eating meatballs because I'm hungry and I wish I had some meatballs Oh, right really? Now. I'm a big fan of Italian food, so. <laughs> Is that right? Yeah. You hear that, fans? Yeah. Meet me and Riley at a convention, bring yeah. him some Italian food. Yeah, bring me some lasagna or something like that. <laughs> What's the weirdest thing a fan has asked you to draw? People like a lot of uh, like combinations of characters. Like, um, you know, someone asked this at New York Comic Con a couple weeks ago, someone was asking me to draw a Deadpool dressed as Batman, which was pretty funny. <laughs> like, you know, um, things like that. The more G-rated one <laughs> request. Do you find it's always easy working with a writer? Every creative relationship is, has been totally different for me. Like, uh, some of them, some people just have different styles and some I get along with better than others. Like with Brian and Jerry, we're really working like a classic Marvel style where they, you know, kind of give me a plot synopsis and then I just take it from there. And it's great to be able to have that kind of input on things. Yeah, that's okay. awesome. <laughs> He's hungry. I'm we should hungry. have brought a cube lunch. <laughs> Yeah, you, you guys need to have like a green room with like craft services. We have and stuff. Uh, bananas. On. Half eaten piece of chocolate. <laughs> no, it's not eaten. <laughs> Riley Brown. I really Brown. like yours. <laughs> it's a big jar, jar of uh, meatball kimchi. Kimchi. Is this a little dude on the side? There's there? some dude. That was... <laughs> That's just a spicy meatball. I'm Natalie Kim. This is It's a Draw, and we'll see you next time. Peace out. Do you want to sign it? Yes. So on eBay, make. That's what we keep saying. Make, make thirteen dollars. <laughs>